Hello everyone and God bless. I just want to take the time to um, say thank you to a brother in Christ, uh, Gabriel Rivera. Um, today I received in the mail his testimony and I received also the Te Quiero Adorar CD from Damaris Roman. And I've been playing it ever since. It's amazing. It's um, forget about it. It's been a blessing and thank you so much. Um, his testimony is amazing. It's uh, a testimony on how God spared his life. That's my granddaughter, <laughs> Selena. Yes. Um, she, um, his testimony, God spared his life in, in, in such a miraculous way. Like, it, it, it's a huge miracle. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. This is him looking into his car. And his car is a total wreck. Okay? I mean, it really, really, really touched me on how he survived without a scratch, without a, nothing touched. I mean, amazing. Like, I can't tell if you guys this is the back of his car and this is a side view of the car how hello it's amazing how God spared his life from this accident like it's amazing you know no matter how far we stray from our Lord no matter how angry we are with him because things are not going correctly or things are not functioning the way we want it to function you we must remember that our plans are not his plans and our um walk is not his walk he wants us to follow the path that he has traced for us he i mean he's our creator he's our god he knows what's best for us he knows what's gonna happen tomorrow we don't we can just guess and you know just come up with ideas of what's going to happen tomorrow, the next day after that, or the next day after that, but he's up there and he can see what's going to happen, what's not going to happen, what he has to save us from, or, you know, what he has to um, take us through in order to teach us a little lesson here and there. And um, it, it is amazing. I mean, I'm only going to read one part here, which is, 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 is something that I want you guys to capture that no matter how far we go astray from God, he will always, always be there for us. And if you have a praying mother, thank God for her, a praying grandma, praying grandpa, uncle, sister, brother, whomever in your family member is constantly bothering you about Jesus Christ or is constantly, you know, you're feeling annoyed because, oh my God, every day, thank God for them because their prayers is what's keeping you alive, whether you want to believe it or not. Their prayers is what's keeping you alive, no matter what. He says here on this day that, um, you know, he got up on a regular morning on that day. God was the last thing on his mind. And, um, he says, I can and will admit that God was the last thing in my mind and I wanted nothing to do with him because of my personal problems and I even blamed him for them. But what an awesome God that I, wa that I was and still am first in his mind and thoughts. For God is good and just and his steadfast love endures forever. So no matter what it is that we do, no matter how far astray we have gone, like I said, and I'm going to continue saying it because that's <laughs> that's the point here that he still he still puts his hand in for you no matter how astray have you gone no matter how angry you are at him no matter how much you feel that he's the one at fault for what you're going through which in reality we're the ones that are at fault for what we go through because of the decisions that we make for ourselves and we need someone to blame. So, hey, why not blame God? You know? And still, you know, his love is so unconditional that he will put his hand to protect us, to save us, to guide us. No matter how much we don't even bother 
thanking him. Don't take five minutes of our time to say thank you, Jesus, for getting me through this day. You know, for allowing me to, to have strength to get up and work. For allowing me to be another day with my family. You know, no matter what has happened in your life, no matter who has hurt you, no matter who, whom have we lost, no matter how badly we've been hurt, even if it was a, a brother in Christ or sister in Christ that they were the ones who, who hurt you, who said something out of place and you feel like that's not what a Christian should do, then what we shouldn't be doing is leaving God for the things others do. Don't blame God for what others do. Don't blame God for the decisions that we make. Things that happen in our lives, there's always a reason behind something. Whether it be good, whether it be bad. There's always a lesson learned with what goes on in our lives. Nothing, nothing will separate you from the love of God. Nothing. So no matter how far you run... No matter how far you want to go, God is always there with his open arms. Just waiting for you to give in. You've tried everything. You've tried everything in your power to get rid of that depression, that anxiety, that worry. You tried everything to solve the situation you're in, but you can't. That's because you're trying with your own strength. I challenge you. To give God that opportunity. You've tried everything and everything has failed. You have nothing to lose but much to gain. Give Jesus a try. All you have to say is, Lord, you know what? I need you. And I ask that you enter my heart. I ask that you be my Lord and Savior and guide me. Put my name in your book in the book of life. Give him the opportunity to guide you and to restore you. Give him that opportunity to get done what you haven't been able to get done. God bless. And once again, Gabriel Rivera, I am so blessed with this testimony. I am like truly blessed with this CD. Thank you so much. And thank you for letting yourself be used. God bless. <laughs>